Hey everybody, my name is Janelle at Avenues Recovery Center. Today I'm joined with Dr. Susan Julius, our Regional Medical Director down in Louisiana. Um, and as we're starting 2024, there's lots of new resolutions, new things happening. And one of these things is the concept of dry January, essentially where people will stop using, stop drinking for a month um, as kind of like a fresh start, hit the reset button a little bit. Um, and I wanted to get your perspective, uh, Dr. J, what are your thoughts on dry January? Hi, Janelle. Hi everybody, it's great to talk to you. Happy New Year. Um, I think dry January is a great idea um, for people who don't have the disease of addiction uh, that might be over drinking or, or over imbibing or, or kind of having a kind of heavy duty Christmas and holiday season. January is not a bad time to kind of regroup and uh, do our, re our New Year's resolutions. If you are very sick and drinking daily with high, 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 high amounts, I would not detox by myself. These, these are people that need to go into a rehab center like ours. So how do we help people, you know, when they come in, you know, if they're admitting, like, is this a good time for them to admit? Is there a good time? Like, is there, what are your, what are your opinion on that? Anytime is a good time to admit to rehab. Um, if you find yourself not being able to stop, um, craving when you do stop, uh, having the shakes, getting nauseous, headaches, sweating, uh, trembling. Uh, these are all signs that you need medical intervention. Um, you know, about anywhere from about four to 15% of people who start a substance uh, like alcohol or another drug actually can become addicted to that drug um, by just doing the drug over and over and over again anywhere from 10 to 20% of the population actually have the disease of addiction. And it's a genetic disease, 60% genetic, 40% environmental. So there's different ways to actually start uh, doing a drug to the point where it's, it's too much. Uh, either you're born with that tendency or, like I said, anywhere from five to 15% can actually become addicted to a substance by doing it over and over repetitively. Makes sense. What are your thoughts on the concept of doing like a month of sobriety? Should this sobriety be more of a sustained thing? Should it be a long-term commitment? Like is a month enough? That's a good question. For people uh, that don't have the disease of addiction, I think taking a month off would be sufficient. Um, people who do have uh, the illness, if uh, taking a month off is not what they need to be doing. Uh, people that have the disease of addiction need to abstain for life you know, one day at a time um, when when people that have this illness try to just stop and uh, think they can restart or have another drink uh, that's going to trigger them back to picking up and going full force back, right back to where they started from from where they were sick from the beginning so i don't recommend just a month people with the disease of addiction need to abstain for good but taking it a day at a time Absolutely. Yeah, I hear you saying a lot, you know, people who have the disease of addiction, people who don't, how do you differentiate? Like, how do you know before detoxing? How would you, you know, be able to assess yourself to be able to make that determination? That's a good question. So there's literally what they call uh, the DSM-5 criteria. Um, and so uh, a lot of times too, AA will have a check, they have a, a checklist. And if you go down this checklist, and if you find yourself checking off many of the yeses, then it's a good sign that you might be uh, drinking more than you should and having problems with stopping. So examples are telling yourself that you're going to only have one or two drinks and then before you know it, you finished a whole bottle or you ordered like four or five rounds. Drinking uh, at times when it's not appropriate, drinking before work, uh, drinking uh, in the middle of the work day, craving the, the, the alcohol. Um, you know, normal people normal that, that uh, drink, they don't crave drinking. When you stop drinking and you actually have physical symptoms of withdrawal, this is a sign of dependence. And so these are all signs of, uh, signs of addiction rather than just over drinking. If the drinking is actually interfering with your workday, your family, your home, if people uh, or loved ones are telling you that you're having consequences from your, your drinking, you're missing work, you're missing family events, missing social events, then it's actually starting to uh, uh, interfere with your life. If you're spending a lot of time in bars or 
uh, at the liquor store, uh, shopping at different liquor stores so people don't know that you've been to that liquor store already. Uh, these are spending a lot of time getting the substance. These are all high flags that you're drinking more than you should be. Makes sense. So if someone's made the determination that they are somebody who has the disease of addiction and needs help, what's the process? How do they admit with us? So we have a 1-800 hotline that's open 24 seven. Uh, we have uh, people on the phones ready to talk to you and give you help 24 hours a day. Uh, we actually have alumni groups and alumni coordinators that uh, reach out to prior patients. Um, and we do uh, a lot of social events. Um, many of the rooms are filled with our, with our people, our patients, and, and uh, a lot of our staff members actually are, are in recovery. So believe it or not, we're all over the community. We're in AA meetings, we're in NA meetings. Um, all you gotta do is pick the phone up and we'll, we'll help you. We've sent planes to go pick up people. We've sent buses, uh, private lifts, uh, you know, cars that will come pick you up. So sometimes not even having transportation is not an issue. We'll come get you and bring you back home. Right. We just want to help people get help, right? That's right. That's awesome. right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dr. J. I appreciate you. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you need help, you can get help today with us at Avenues. Thank you.